Bella's so thirsty, all she wants is Edwards. <laughs> Edwards. Nuts? Great nuts! It's a cereal! It's a Great terrific nuts is a very cereal. good response. Cheers! Oh! Welcome to Movie Bitches! <laughs> Happy, Happy Twilight Tober! The Dry Tober! Yes! Rush Review episode 66, Twilight. The moment has arrived. It's Twilight Tober. I have officially seen Twilight. <laughs> First things first. Yes. Shout out to Brett Summers over here. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I was going to do Gene Rayburn, but I didn't have the hairpiece. Oh. I am a cat, duh, because I don't care. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am the worst with costumes. If someone just maybe, maybe at some point will like have enough subscribers that I can just pay someone to be my costume person. Sure. Again, if anyone wants to mail us a costume, I'm like 30 size pant, you know, <laughs> 38 chest, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. that size range, medium, yes. small mm -hmm. in that area. If there's something that you've made or want or whatever, I will take it. Yeah. I just, I don't. I, I struggle. And once again, I um, am and obsessed. And you nail it. And I find the nichest costume I can make. I love Out it. of things in my closet. Yeah, well, that, yeah. <laughs> it's a magical place, that closet. Oh my God, Narnia. It really is. I loved your, um, should I keep it, should I not, Insta story. Was that fun? I thought it was fun. Okay. People seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, most of the answers were, no, you can't get rid of that. But, you I know, know, it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> I was like, you guys aren't helping. It's. Full, but organized. Well, that's great. That's the that's the key. Um, I was thinking it'd be a fun thing to like do like an outfit or a costume challenge. Okay. Right. So you're. It's like you know. Oh, go make a go write a screenplay in ten minutes. You know, like. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we need you to make an outfit like this. X, Y, or Z or some oh, kind of whatever. Fun. And you have and to go through like, your, your costume. Or your and closet. you try and pick it out. Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Mm-hmm. Anyway. For you, I don't have, like, you know, I'm like, No, oh, I can okay. dress you, though. Oh, okay, fine, yeah, fit, as we have. You can fit in some of my clothes, so. For example, we have done that challenge yes, when it was. Yes, we have cats. <laughs> We're going to be late to cats. Cats. Oh, my God, yeah, we did that. Liza, we got a scoop. Oh, I'd be delighted. Just let me check out some of these lamps. We did it for uh, Bertha's funeral. Bertha's funeral. We found you a, a quick little yep. number. We did it for um, our, ten our ten year anniversary. Non 10th non year anniversary. Our ninth anniversary. Our ninth anniversary. Celebration of 10. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. No, first things first. Yes. Shout out to our Patreon supporters. $5 a month gets you really access. $10 gets you access to our viewing parties, including us watching Twilight together. I feel like we had a fun time. Oh, I had a great time. I don't think it was as outrageous as I was expecting. No. But I guess we will get there. I'm not trying to oversell it. This was the only real movie. Okay. And this was a real movie. Like, it was. Is it schlocky? Yes. Yeah. Is it stupid? Absolutely. Yeah. Is she crazy? She's nuts, y'all. <laughs> In retrospect. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Is this movie anti-feminist? Probably. <laughs> I think it's too basic to even be... I don't think it's anti-anything. Well, the only thing that I would say about that is that, like, when you think about all of the teenage girls that grew up being like, oh, but I'll have to die. I'll do anything for well, well, this guy I that I just theory. met. I have a theory. Um, we'll get into it. Uh, we'll get a little literary. But okay. second thing second... Yes, go to our wine sponsor, Wink. Go to trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. Third thing's third, make sure to subscribe, share, whole, tell everyone, go watch their Twilight review, April dressed up as Brett Summers. I'm, I'm very curious to hear the comments about people being like, who? <laughs> what? I mean, you know, I do think it's such a to perfect me, snatch game an character. an icon. Sure. Brett Summers is an icon to me. I used to text my sister about, we would be watching Game Show Network, not together, but separately, and mm -hmm. we would text... text. About Brett Summers and her iconic iconography. Anyway. I love that. Anyway, subscribe, share, follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Make sure to check out the Instagram where April posts fun things like her outfits as well as we talk about movies. Yeah. Go to our Letterboxd. Yes, go to our Letterboxd and check it out. Yeah, I, I will posting. try to be better about posting my side of the story. 
I feel like it's mostly been April, but that's probably what most of you care about anyway. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think you'll find more sure. of like interesting picks, right? Well, you'll be like, oh, I'm watching this old movie. It's great. And sure. you'll be like, oh, cool. That's an old movie to watch. I just watched this pre-code movie called Female. It was the most pre-code slash, oh no, what happened? Mm. Like, you know how Gilda is, you're just like... Yes, yeah. bitch, what happened? Oh. oh no, the studio got a hold of it in the last five minutes. Very that. Oh no, bummer. But the first half, Okay. Uh, it's um, uh, Ruth, oh, oh no, I'm forgetting her last name. Anyway, she was fabulous and she's playing, she runs an entire auto company because oh. her dad died and she was like, I was the only one that could run it. And she's like inviting men from the company over to seduce. You see, the psychology of these pet meetings is to work up enthusiasm. Are you naturally enthusiastic? And she's just like, no, I don't need you anymore. Thanks, you've done your business. Oh my God, and they filmed it at the Innes house, or the Ennis mm. house, right? With all the with all the um, stone, yeah. like, Egyptian yeah, like, stonework. Yeah. And there's this crazy pool Ooh. where there's all these like, very bizarre animal statues. There's like a giraffe, and there's a, huh. and then and then it does that 1930s thing where there's like a, a an impossible staircase to nowhere. Oh. And there's a floating. There is a banquette in the wall of an organ player who is floating. Oh, I saw you post about that. And he's just, and I don't know how he got there. There's no door. I don't know how he got there, but he's playing an organ. Oh man, it was great until it wasn't, but like, that's okay. I really enjoyed a lot of it. Good. I have some vodka. Oh no thanks. I'm intoxicated enough of the night and- The night and what? And the music. <laughs> oh, this is heavenly. <laughs> so anyway. So Twilight. Twilight. Um, October. wow. We've got a lot to unpack. So, I mean, do we get into it? Do we yep. get into the history? Okay. My history with Twilight? Do we get into oh, it okay. now? Yes, yes, tell me. Should Lay we, it out. Should we, should we, you okay. You gotta start off all cards on the table. Guys, I'm burying my soul here. Read all the books. Was obsessed. Wow. Visited Forks, the actual town where the books are based and the movies are filmed. Before the movies were coming out, I went to Forks. And stayed there. Oh. Big reveal! Wow. There is evidence. There is photographic evidence. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I am really quite shocked by that. I know. I had no idea. I know. That's like, I have a friend uh -huh. who went to go to the, the hotel where they filmed The Shining. See, but that's a cool story. Right. <laughs> um... I don't think it's really... I don't think this... I, was, I don't think it's really... I'm surprised that, like, cool this is the place. one that you chose. Um, of all places. I was wrapped up. I was going to Seattle anyway. It's close okay. by. Okay, okay. Um, I also went to uh, Stadium High School, where they filmed 10 Things I Hate About You. Love that. And dumpster dived a chair that is oh. over there. Oh, is that where that came from? Yeah. How did you get that all the way back? Put it in the car. Oh, you were driving. I'm my grandfather's daughter. Love it. Went ahead and dumpster dove at that chair right on out of that dumpster. Yep. <laughs> and now it's cute. Now it's super cute. I love that chair. And it's from Stadium High. I love that. Yeah, so I can imagine. Ten you know, things you hate about that chair. I would love about that chair. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, yeah, so uh, yeah, I visited Forks. Um, wow. it, it was strange because it was before the movies had come mm. out and the locals were had no idea what was happening. Befuddled. Yeah. Could not comprehend why anyone was there. Anyone they didn't know was visiting their town. I There's wonder a beautiful... if now it's like a thing that people have done. Yes. Oh, okay. So now it has become twilighted. Oh no. Oh, bro. Oh, nuts. <laughs> Let's go put that right there. I went a second time to Forks. Oh my god, April. Yeah. I went back. I was going to be in Seattle anyway. <laughs> But it was actually really interesting. Okay. Because before, yeah. small town, oh, right, right. nothing, no one, no, who, empty, there's a burger joint. There's actually a really beautiful rainforest. Is that rainforest. where she eats all those burgers? Not exactly. Okay. But we did get burgers. Ooh, rainforest. There's a beautiful rainforest, the Ho, H-O-H, okay. Ho National Rainforest. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful area. It's green. I love the Pacific Northwest. It's gorgeous. Um, But it was so fascinating to go there before and after. Mm. Because suddenly, when we went back... Is it far from Seattle? Like, how far did you drive to get there? An hour? 
it's a little more. It's a little further. Two. You know, we're getting warmer. I don't remember exactly how far it was. Oh my god. But when we went back, yeah. there's a subway suddenly. Oh suddenly there's like Oh like a subway restaurant. Restaurant. <laughs> no, sorry, not a not a transit situation. I was like, wow, this place really grew. No, I'm sorry. They had sandwiches. <laughs> Great. So like suddenly there's sure. a subway. There's there's like Edward cutouts in all the windows. Oh, there's memorabilia. Yeah, yeah. There's all this stuff. And it was just really weird to like from then to then. Yeah. So the first time the locals were like, Huh? And the second time they were like, <laughs> Oh no. It's you guys and there's a reason you're here. But we know why. <laughs> we know why. Yeah. Does uh, that house exist? I mean, cards obviously on the exists, table. I mean, like... I certainly took a picture of a house that I imagined was Bella's house. I mean, it was... Oh, well, her house, I don't give a shit. Which, but oh, Edward's no, not the house. fabulous house. No, no. Not, I'm sorry. He doesn't live in town. Andrew. Right, of course. He doesn't live in town. He doesn't live, live in, in town. town. So, yes. Yeah, so then also saw all of the movies. Okay. Um, saw the, the first one at midnight. Oh, wow. Went back and saw it the next day. Oh, my God. Yeah. April. I know. There's a whole other wow. side, a whole other side, bear it all you out there. You know what, there. though? It kind of makes it all sense. Out there. It kind of does make sense because when I think about, like, Twilight and you, there's a, a confluence of a lot of different things, yeah. right? When we pick tapes to put up here, right? It's like, oh, maybe not, oh, oh Watch Remember's not very good, but, like, you know, that that Nicholas, Nicholas Sparksian Sparks. melodrama. Melodrama, vampires. Sci-fi. I've always been I'm a sucker for vampires. Sure. Um... All of the... Uh, beautiful nature. The beautiful nature. Sure. It was also something where it was like, it happened organically. Okay. I happened upon, like I saw the spine of the Twilight book is very sort of, it pops. It's black mm -hmm. and white. There's just a red apple. I was like, what the hell is that? Picked it up. Read it. Was like, oh my God, this is so fun to read. Right. Then suddenly, wait, there's more? There's another one? Oh my God. Mm -hmm. And then it was like... So I got, it was one of those things where like I got in before it was popular. Right. So it was like, oh, what? Yeah. I like kind of just like organically found this thing that then became a phenomenon. It really did. Phenom. Phenom. Yeah. Phenomenon. Yeah. So wait, that is the whole story. Putting it out there. Wow. I am the complete opposite. Yeah, you got nothing. I literally didn't read a single word of it. Nope. I have not seen anything more than has been presented to me via pop culture. Say it! Say it! Out loud. Out loud. Say it. Vampire. Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so anyway, I also realize how extra ironically funny it is that I'm dressed as Brett Summers as I um, confess, <laughs> confess these very embarrassing adolescent things to you. Yes, it's very fun. It's very fun. That I simultaneously was obsessed with Brett Summers as a young child and also read Twilight. all of the Twilight books. <laughs> read them all. Back to front. I'm worried. I really think I shouldn't go back. I think it's, a, it's no, bad. No, leave I it. Think it needs to just live in a, in a past self. Absolutely. And, and it's there and it's, com it's like a warm, comfy blanket, but don't go back. Yeah. Yet. So, Twilight from 2008. What'd you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you know, I, I mean, I liked it. I liked it, to be honest. It's fun. It's fun. It's, it's dumb. stupid. It's so dumb. It's so dumb, but like, it moves enough. Mm -hmm. The pacing was fine. You know, like, I didn't get angry. I wasn't like nope. annoyed. There was actually one point where I was like, this is interminable. You didn't, didn't, um, all of the long, full staring wasn't. Well, there was a lot of, I mean, honestly, I think if you, you. Tuck, if you took out all of the staring, this movie would be 23 minutes long. But where, how long would it be in your heart? Oh my God. <laughs> Not very long because you lost all the staring. It's very, you know what else though? That's so interesting because that's what you love about like the, the Pride Jane Austen-y Yeah, type, it's all you know. very chaste and like, right. oh, yeah, oh they no. don't. They don't. Oh, well, get ready. But that's all the anticipation is what's so fun, particularly right. in a book. Sure. Ooh, kind of page turner. Exactly. So yeah, so, so uh, let's talk about Twilight. Yeah, let's do it. Twilight starring Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart. Who, who would have thought? Anna Kendrick. And Anna Kendrick, who is doing the Lord's work, knows exactly what film she is in. Yeah. That's Edward Cohen. He's totally gorgeous, obviously. But apparently nobody here is good enough for him. Like I care, you know? 
I'm just trying to think. 2008. I think Rocket Science had come out, but um, right. the other one hadn't. Camp? Up in the air. Oh. And Camp had certainly come out. Yeah. Because she was that pretty young big, in that. Wasn't Up in the Air that, like the big breakout? I forgot she was even in that, so. So maybe not. But maybe it was. I don't know. I don't remember when I first learned of Anna Kendrick. It had to have been before Pitch Perfect. Well, so maybe, I don't know. For whatever reason, I like didn't, like it seems crazy to me that Anna Kendrick became a bigger star than Kristen Stewart did. Is that true still? I don't know if that is. No, not anymore. It's so weird to think about. Like, this is the beginning. Mm -hmm. The beginning of what, though? Let's just be honest about that. I mean, they're two of the most famous people in the world now, of that generation of actors. That is true. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson, yes. So, that's... Taylor Lautner kind of had a oh, brief absolutely. flame he, and then They tried died. to make Taylor Lautner tried... happen, just like they tried to make Taylor Kitsch happen. Right. Is that his name? I think so. John Carter guy? They tried to make him happen. Yeah, he... And it did not Well, work. he was like the box office poison, right? And Kellen Lutz, nothing. They tried to make him happen. They tried to make him happen, couldn't happen. They, but they're the two leads, I think, because... But I think we can all say Jackson Rathbone is the most famous now at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that ghost! Fuck that ghost! <laughs> the, mo- the closest to our hearts right oh, now. Oh, there you this. go. At this current moment. No, honestly, Robert Pattinson and his polishing of a lighthouse. Oh, boy. I think it really is just so incredible to me... Right? ...that we went from this to... to well, someone was talking about how, like, they have... Kristen Stewart and him have so much stupid money from all sure. of these from all of these movies. Yeah. And similar to the Harry Potter kids, right. mostly Emma Watson and Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah. They have such freedom of choice because they financially don't need right. to they don't you know, need whatever. to have the job. And they're they're very talented and all of the above, but like they can kind of be like I'm going to go do this weird fucking art movie. Right. You know, I mean we'll talk about um the wig that Kristen Stewart has to get at some point during a movie because she went to film something else. Um, we'll get there. We'll get there when oh. we get there. We'll get there when we get there. Sure. It's sort of interesting. Like, they they kind of had a blank check. Yeah, uh, at a certain uh, point. Know, yeah. To just be like, I'm going to make these weird choices. Right. I think, from what we've seen, Kristen Stewart really is quite a talent. Spencer, she was really great. Yes. I would say she's got her thing that she does, and she does that thing. That is true. There's a lot of that. That's all I'd say. There is a lot of that. That's true. That's but true. The reason Whereas I Robert think Pattinson probably have, has more range. He's got the range. Yeah. I think the reason this movie works is because they got a bunch of, for the most part, very talented actors who were taking it seriously, super fucking seriously yeah. and earnestly. Yep. Yep. And because they're taking it so seriously, but we're still having fun with the genre, yep. and we're still kind of poking fun at things and whatever, it's not taking itself seriously. Sure. I think that's why it works. You're right. It's a it's a good balance of tone. The movie itself isn't taking itself too seriously, yes. where it's not like a Mommy Dearest situation. Right. Where it's like, oh, everyone thought this was an Oscar winner. No. And, and then it wasn't. No. Well, and they were all, I think, mostly teenagers or very early 20s. So they were... Yeah, you he know, was and, 17. And Robert Pattinson and Kristen Stewart famously, like, you know, fell in love on set and dated for years and, and all of that right. stuff. So there was, like, this real palpable, you Emotion know... and going earnestness. On. Yes. yes. They were very serious yeah. about this vampire movie. <laughs> and I appreciate it. And I think Catherine Hardwick, the director... Mm-hmm. I think it helped, too, that it was a woman. Helped that it was a woman. It helped there was a lot of, like, care. There's a lot of really specific choices, things that didn't need to, quote-unquote, be in this movie. Um, character development. You get a sense of who everybody is. That is true. Um, there's a lot of little scenes. That yes. Not much is happening, but things are going on. That's under true. the Under there, you know? And they develop the relationship with her dad and with all these yep. things. Like, you really... Yeah, when she tells off the dad, I was like, fuck you, bitch. He seems really nice. He seems like he's trying really hard. Bella, come on. I just... I just got you back. Yeah, and you know, if I don't get out now, then I'm just gonna be stuck here like mom. So, I think that's what it has going for it. I mean, unfortunately... So, Catherine Hardwick uh, directed this one. It was the most... It might still be, oh no, Wonder Woman probably took over, but it was the mm. most profitable movie directed by a woman for sure. like a very long time. Sure. She was going to direct the next one uh, and, you know, whatever personalities, something happened. Mm. She was taking too long to make it all work. I think they should have let her, I think they should have given her the time. 
I really think they should have given her the time. Um, and she, they fired her. They, she didn't get to do the other movies. Bummer. All of the sort of like normal teenagers, mm-hmm. I think they did a great, great job. Great job. Yeah. Those teenage boys are such teenage boys. Yeah. I was wondering, did you have a, a, a date to... What's up, Arizona, huh? Uh, are you liking the rain, girl? All of them are just like, look at this. Ew, gross. And they're just always, uh-huh. they're always like dumb and idiot. Yep. And I'm just, it like brings you right back and you're just like, oh my God. And there's the contrast in with Edward who's, you know. Oh, he's so. Silent. I mean, he's a full asshole. He's like an adult man asshole. Right. And they're dumb boy assholes. Right. Different, different type of asshole. Different type of asshole. We find out later, you know, there's a reason he's being an asshole, whether or not that's okay, but. Oh. Because he's like, I don't want to eat you. I have to oh, sure, sure. be an asshole. We also find out there's a reason that he's more mature asshole, adult man, because he's been 17 for a while. A while. You don't know anything. Hi. Um, are you going to be riding with us? No, our bus is full. Oh, right. Yeah, he'd been 17 for 90 years. Wow. What a nightmare. That does seem rough, right? Like, although that, I thought that artwork of the matriculation caps was also pretty cool. Fun little details, yeah. right? Like, yeah. somebody thought of that joke. Like, I don't recall that being in the book. I could oh, be wrong. I could be wrong. But I just remember that being a fun detail of like, oh, right. oh, well, he matriculate a lot, and it's you like, know, yeah, mm, yeah, we gotta. I know if we start life. young, then you get to. I mean, to me, I'm like, well, why wouldn't you just be like, oh, he's a boy genius. He. He already got his GED. Look how smart he is. He can take any... T- like, clearly knows the shit. Because they start looking older faster and they can't stay in the same place as long. Or they, they don't start looking older. You know what I mean? Like, if he comes into town and he's mm-hmm. 16, mm-hmm. they have, you know, however many years... But can they he can come f- into town and be 16 and already have graduated high school because he's just brilliant? And then what does he do? Go to college and study something different. I guess then they he's going to matriculate again. They all have to live together. Right. They're a group. They're a family. So I just read Weathering Heights. Okay. This famously gothic romantic novel, right? What do you know? This is just so interesting to me. What do you know about Weathering Heights? Really not much. But like The Moors, Heathcliff, you know, not, nothing. I, Kathy and Heathcliff running around being so in love that, oh my God, what happens, right? Nope. Sure. Some tragic romance. Okay, great. That's all I, that's, that was like, oh, that's all I knew, right? Cool. It's like some, ah, and you read it and it's. It's like probably the most depressingly sad. Um, everyone in the book's an asshole. No, but like it was fascinating. Okay. Because, okay, so it was basically like it's told from, it's a story within a story within a story, which was like a super gothic thing. Like Frankenstein is a story within a story mm-hmm. within a story. It's all told from the perspective of this maid, Nellie, who is basically like your really pragmatic aunt. Okay. And so she's like, Oh my God, Kathy and this fucking teenage bullshit. I mean, essentially. Bell, you are my life now. And so you're seeing it through her lens and you realize that this sort of like, I would die for you love story is so unhealthy and not romantic. Right. Right. That's romantic when you're 15. Right. Oh, and I would die for you. You know, like Heathcliff is literally like, like Kathy's like, you murdered me. You broke my heart, blah, blah, blah. And so Heathcliff is like, then haunt me. Haunt me because I'm your murderer. Like, like it's so completely fucked up. And Heathcliff is a horrible villain. Like, everyone in the book is a horrible person. And it was so fascinating to read. But why I'm saying this is this felt like a really gothic romance where it's just like, I would die for you, anything. I'm designed to kill. I don't care. I've killed people before. It does not matter. Well, nobody's perfect. And right. it gets much worse. And like their love is so important that everyone else doesn't matter. And and that's very much how the, like the gothic romances work. Guess, yeah. And so I was kind of like, I mean, it's very Tristan and he's old. It's very, very Tristan like, and he's old. Very just like so dramatic, like Romeo and Juliet. You know, yep, all of this like. Yep. This angsty, like, I'm so overwhelmed with how much I love you that I would die and this is really unhealthy. And so watching it back now, it's really fascinating because I was like, oh, girl, run screaming. I wanted to kill you. I've never wanted a human's blood so much in my life. I trust you. Every moment I'm with you, I desperately wanted to kill you. And she's like, I don't care. I love you. And it's like... Well, there's definitely something wrong with her, and there's very obviously something wrong with me. This is a, 
bad. This is bad. a bad situation. You should you should move to Jacksonville. I think you need to get out of here. Get yeah. out, girl. You're in danger, girl. Molly, you in danger, girl. Because I knew we were gonna do this, and I'm mm -hmm. reading Weathering Heights, going like, oh my god, this is Twilight <laughs> on some level. Sure, sure, sure. Like this sort of just like overly dramatic. Um, I don't know if I'm rooting for you guys, guys. Like I right. think I think maybe you need to stop being so selfish. Your love isn't the most important thing that ever happened. Right. But when you're 15, it, it is. is. Anyway, so I just thought that was really interesting. But I was having fun thinking about that. But there's also a lot of really funny humor in this movie. Yes. Smile. Okay. Sorry, I needed a candidate for the feature. Feature's dead, Angela. Don't bring it up again. I did appreciate this. I mean, obviously, by nature of it being a small town, yeah. sure. But it was convenient then that she shows up as the new kid in school and she shows up and everyone's like, oh, you're the new kid. Oh, oh you're the new Oh, you're from Phoenix. You're Bella's oh, I'm a guy. Oh, I'm a guy. Blah, blah, blah. And so it's like, you don't have to deal with all of that. Like, oh, I don't, I don't know anyone. Oh, sure. this vampire boy, he was the only one that paid attention to me. And so I love him forever. It was not that. No, quite the opposite. He was a fucking asshole. He was a fucking asshole. <laughs> Melly, you're, uh, you hit your head. I think you're confused. I know what I saw. Well, nobody's gonna believe you. He was like one whiff of you, and I'm gonna vomit. It was just because he was so overcome with the emotion with nausea, yeah, of um, not wanting to eat her simultaneously, eat her and um, love her for all eternity. And he also couldn't hear her thoughts. Now this was just one step oh too god. far. Oh my Do god! Do they ever explain the telepathy? So far as some vampires have powers, most vampires have powers. But right. they're, they're just sort of... Right, hmm. different powers. It's a grab bag of, like, superhero power. I don't recall there being a reason. Like, okay. because he had really good hearing when he was a human. There, I don't recall there being a reason in the book. He was really had great emotional it's maturity. It's just sort of, like, so something about... <laughs> to, and then the empathy grew. No. Well, no, but he actually, I think, becomes very despondent and and depressed with society because Cause he, can he, hear he just hears everyone and everyone's humans are awful. And so he's just like, wow, everything's awful. Money, sex, money, sex, cat. <laughs> And so very Sucky Stackhouse. It's very Sucky Stackhouse. And so the the whole thing is because he can't hear her, that's one of the reasons, of course, that he falls in love with her because she's a mystery. It's very Sucky Stackhouse. She's a mystery. She's a mystery girl. Yes, it is very Sucky Stackhouse. That was what was so, so shocking to me in going through this because, again, most of my vampire and werewolf knowledge comes from True Blood. It was like, this is so many simula similarities yeah. of like, oh, of course, we're true love. It's more important than anyone because these two, and he's a different vampire. He's not a bad one. Yeah, of course. He's nice. And, you know, yeah. oh, I can read minds, but not his, or whatever it was. Yeah, that was it, right? I don't rem Honestly, I don't remember. I think she couldn't read his mind for whatever reason. For some reason? Yeah. Uh, you know, that special, and she had the special fairy blood that he just, oh, suck his blood, ooh. You know, it's all so stupid. <laughs> But it was all, you know, what are her beer, beer, beer flavored nipples? What is it with this chick? She have beer flavored nipples? You know, it's just like, why is everyone so obsessed with we her? really got to retro review 10 things I hate about you. Absolutely. Because, like, that movie is seminal. Oh but my anyway. God. Um, Ouch, my balls. <laughs> my balls. Oh, oh I'm sweating yeah. in this polyester. Oh, no. Um, um, what were we talking about? Is it about? polyester? Polly? <laughs> Holly Crepe de Sheen! Um, Hello? Is it polyester? It is! It's Holly Crepe de Sheen! Oh, oh, spoiler alert. Okay. <clears throat> Bella is not a fairy. Oh. Okay, just so you know. I didn't think. She seemed very human. <laughs> it was interesting this time, looking back, mm -hmm. how much the character trait of uh, young girls at this time mm -hmm. was, I'm such a klutz! Mm. Like, well, that was such an endearing yeah. quality. <laughs> you at least watch where you walk. Right, I'm remembering like um, what a girl wants. Yep. It was always like mm, she fell over. Thank you, <laughs> Already. Yeah. Like that was such a um thing that was endearing. 
This is going to sound really dark. Sure, go for I'm it. I'm going to go for it. I want to hear about it. My guess would be that yeah. it's infantilizing because Oh, it's, absolutely. You know, yes, of course. It's like, oh, got, I'm just yes, so you know awkward what? and gangly. It was right there and, and, and now you've shown it to me and now, yes, it was very much that. Yeah. Well, I mean, if we're talking about infant, I mean, that is Bella's character. She has no agency and is right. <laughs> just she's just the most delicious human girl in the world. To Edward and everyone else, all of the other vampires were like, <gasps> I guess so. I'm trying to remember if there's a reason she smells so good. I guess none of them were like, wow, whoa, I have to have her. They were all like, oh, you're right, she does smell really good, or whatever. It's definitely something where where she smells particularly expensive to <laughs> Edward. Like, it's a particular caviar. Right. The caviar, I trust, is not burned. I really wouldn't know. This is Ossetrova, and I prefer Petrosian Beluga. And then the other one is just because he, he wants likes to, to hunt. Yeah, yeah. There are so many characters in Twilight. But yeah. they do such a fantastic job of introducing, taking their time. You kept confusing a few people. Because oh, they all look the same. <laughs> they all had the same wig and yeah. pale. Yeah. Uh, I'm a vampire and I have like slightly auburny I mean, ginger hair. We'll talk. <sighs> Strawberry blonde, I guess. time to talk about the wigs? Specifically Taylor Lockett. Ooh, that was the really outstanding one, I think, in this one. The way that it, it's like tucked in and then over it is so bad they really needed to just stick that beanie on his head and never take it off all the time all the time i mean i do blame katherine hardwick in that respect this wig is not working it's not working we need to put a beanie on this thing immediately and never take maybe it they off. did and then it was just like well we shot in this order and so there you go no no just he's always wearing a beanie well but my point is like maybe that's what happened and the scenes where he is wearing a beanie which were a f- no no a few he should never have not been wearing a beanie. Well, I understand. When but filming. My, my point is that maybe it took just a little bit of time for them they to were finally like, win oh, that no. argument. They should have done reshoots <laughs> and put that beanie on his head. It was that bad. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it really came out of nowhere. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Are you crashing the prom or something? Did you come to the day? I'm so scared of that way. No. I, um, I'm curious to see how it progresses because it's supposed, it doesn't get better it's supposedly right isn't it like team edward or team jacob jacob okay so you know that yeah i knew that okay how you have to be living under a rock not to know that i don't know it was all the people that oh team edward or team jacob you didn't know about heathcliff i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i remember that and i just couldn't see that happening in this one i mean because he's hardly there i was um never team jacob Okay. I should have been. I mean, Team Jacob is the healthy choice. But as a, a, a younger person, Team Edward was the choice. Yeah. That was, we needed to live forever, constantly in love. How horrible oh. to just, li- to, to spend eternity. It's like the later seasons of The Good Place where you're like, yeah. oh, they started to realize that eternity is a long time. Yeah. That's a long time. And without a clock there at the end, it starts to get a little monotonous. That is kind of what I love about like a what we do in the shadows type. Well, that's also where I get most of my knowledge. Oh from. my god, do I love that show? Oh, so good. When they were all just fucking Doug Jones in the closet <laughs> of that wedding. I've forgotten how handsome a vampire the Baron is. Oh yes, he's absolutely delicious. I must confess, we had a little quickie in the cloakroom after the ceremony. As good as you remember? Oh, so much better. All right, well then, don't mind if I do. Oh, enjoy, my love. Yes, my my husband, go. Fuck him in the closet, yes. I loved it. I really but like, am obsessed with that of show. Of course, if you're fucking 300 years old, you're not going to be like, oh, no, nope, it's the two of us forever. You're going to be like, let's please shake this up. Spoiler alert. When Guillermo came out and she was like... Naja made sure that they remember the part about me telling them that I'm gay. So, I mean, who isn't gay? A lot of people. Oh, okay. Woohoo! I'll get the trumpets out. Sorry. One more reveal. Okay. Definitely um, bought this soundtrack on CD. Okay. Listen to it a lot. Okay. Also, you had to separately download um, Robert Pattinson's oh, songs. That's why you knew he played the guitar. I think there's one of his songs that's on the actual legitimate soundtrack, but a bunch of them are really him just flailing on a guitar. And when you listen now, it's really not very good. <laughs> but back then, I was like, oh my God, he's so talented. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, 
this whiny music where he's sort of saying words. I I so really talented. enjoyed so this talented. journey. This journey that we're on, yeah, yeah. You know, it's it was fun. very Eddie Vedder. Okay, and yep. just sort of like, nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. yeah, it was very that. We've all been there. We've all had those moments where we're like, wow, I was really doing too much. That was this was real. This is sorry. There are no more uh, ahead. This was really the moment. This was this was the um, tucked tucked it in my back pocket. Okay. Oof, that was something that was really into. <laughs> Should we do a quick commercial break? Yes, and we'll be back with more vampires and maybe anecdotes from April's past, but we'll see. <laughs> Only if we're lucky. The little dark-haired girl is Alice. She's really weird. And um, she's with Jasper, the blonde one who looks like he's in pain. Jasper, he's the one that looks like he's in pain all the time. Oh. I don't know. I thought everyone was doing what they were doing. No. You know I, mean? I So, okay, that goes back to my, my original thing of like, oh, the new kid in school, right? And everyone's like, oh, hi. No, no. It was an interesting way where like there was a lot of exposition, mm -hmm. but yet somehow it worked or it was it all moved. helpful. They made it fun. It, yeah. It was... Um, I think it was interesting. I don't know if I needed her leaving Phoenix and being like, oh, here's my little cactus. I think we could have sped that up and sure. then have her reveal to him, oh, well, my mom was dating this guy. Oh, did he not, was he not cool? Did you not get along or whatever? No, he was cool, but like he works in baseball or whatever. Sure. And like, I don't think we need to hear that twice. And I think it would have been more organic to hear it by her telling him rather sure. than like clunky VO for five minutes at the beginning. Sure. Just my note on yeah. that. Yeah. But you know, whatever. I hear it. I yeah. hear that note. Girl, find the note. Find the note. Did you find it? I found I found it. This time I was really um, keying into Robert Pattinson's like tangerine frosted lip gloss. <laughs> And it wasn't, I think it was because they they had to pale him up. Yeah. But then it was. They were like, no, it's not working. It we was need some um, sort of contrast. It was yeah. It wasn't um, yeah. I couldn't get a grasp on his facial structure. He's, He's got quite um, an interesting yeah. and beautiful face. Yes. But it's it's um, there's hills, there's valleys. Right. It's um, like whoa, it's different an angles entire are different things. Continent. He really has a face. We've said this before. He really has a face for silent film. Sure. It's just like distinctness yes. to his face. Yes. If I tried to explain Robert Pattinson, I don't know who I would say. Oh well, he sort of looks like so and so, but in a mix of this, I'm just like he looks like Robert Pattinson. I would say there's like a little bit of like a Jimmy Dean and like a little bit of um, the sauce. Who's Jimmy Dean? James Dean? James Dean. Dean. Okay. Sorry. I was like, do you know him personally? What's going on? No. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse I feel like, me? I feel like people refer to him as Jimmy Dean. Come back, Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, whatever the fuck that know. movie's called. I don't know. Maybe if you melded like a James Dean Montgomery Cliff, there's like old timey vibes. Yes, I could, yeah, I could, yeah. But yes, you're right. Like, I, I don't know from a current grab bag of people, I don't know who I would really mm. say he looks like. I can't think of it. Yeah. Certainly not like a, he's not like a Chris, you know, where you're like, wait, which one, one is he? You know, like, I, I mean, I personally can, those ones aren't that hard compared to some of the others where you're like, right. I, I honestly don't know which one is that. I, I do not know. Is it Teresa Palmer? Is it Kristen Stewart? I, I don't know. I don't know which one it is. I don't know if I know who Teresa Palmer is. Did you ever see Take Me Home Tonight? Yes. She's in the Discovery of Witches show. Yeah. She's in stuff and she looks like Kristen Stewart. Okay. When because Kristen Stewart was is blonde. Or like right. organically. Um so back before she was brunette, it was really like Interesting. Like when she I think she's in um in the Land of Women, that Meg Ryan right. Adam Brody movie. And in that one you're like, I think who's Who's who? Okay, I have a question for you. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I know they set it up. That he lives in Seattle or whatever, Washington. The rainiest place. The rainy, right. Famously, Stephanie Meyer, when writing the books, okay. looked up where is the rainiest place in America. And the town of Forks came up. Of course. She'd never been there, but she wrote about it in the book. Stop it. That's what she happened. She didn't even visit before. Like, she didn't do her research. She was writing it on the weekends. She was a mom. <laughs> you know so much about her. Of course she was a mom. She's Mormon. She had, like, a bunch of kids. She had a, a dream... 
this all came from a dream. She had a dream that there was, this is paraphrasing, a sexy vampire that was telling his, his love that he was a vampire and that he shone in the sun. And that was where it all started. Wow. Yeah. What was your question? I want to know more about that. Oh, anyway. <laughs> um, oh, right. So, so he glitters, right? I mean, oh, boy. It's really sweaty. It looks, to it, me, more dewy. Yeah, it is kind of like a glistening. It's like everyone yeah, like in a, here on Earth. You know, it's just, there's just a dew. It's just a glisten. A mist. Yeah. That was silly. I don't know. It seems so weird to me. I almost want, like, a Twilight knockoff, like, like a offshoot where they all just live in a town and it's like, well, those are the vampires. Like, they glisten in the sun and, like... What yeah. do you mean? Like everyone snows? Eat. Well, it's like, okay, here's what I don't understand. This entire family, right, yeah. is eating deer. A- animals, right, yeah. deer from the wild. They're drinking the blood. Cool. Right. How is that any different than someone who, like, shoots deer and eats the venison and, you like, whatever? So you think the whole town should have a pact that they don't tell the world there's vampires and they should all just live in harmony? Well... Yes, it's the true blood of it all. Well, I mean, it's not quite the true blood because the whole point of true blood was that they could finally come out as vampires because there was synthetic blood all around the world. <laughs> that show. Insane. What's Alan Ball up to? I Honestly, <laughs> I would like to know. It's just kind of money. I'm wondering, what <laughs> like, what's, what's he up to? But anyway, I mean, yes, like, why can't it be like a discovery of witches or whatever, right? Like a small Oh, no, that's a mystery too. Oh, is it? Um, a discovery of witches is like um, a murder of ravens or crows. Right. It's not like they're actually being discovered. No, but isn't it a group of them that all live in a town oh, yes. together? I thought you meant like... But people don't know that they're witches. Like, oh, and we all discovered there's witches. I just it was clarifying. Oh, oh no, no, no. Sorry. That, that wasn't... Okay, great. But this breaks a lot of vampire rules. Yep. Right? Oh, th- I mean, it's thrown out the window. It's thrown like, okay, out the window. Okay, how do we get a vampire in high school yep. who can fall in love with a regular girl? Okay, well, he has to be able to go out during the daytime. Right, Okay, right. but it has to be some weird thing about why, you know, whatever. So right, he's very... not going to burn, but, like, if he can't, if it's direct sunlight, is that it? Because yeah. she hates the, the rain. We know that. I don't really like the rain. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... It's wet. It's wet cold. I hate cold. I hate the sand. It's so <laughs> coarse. It gets everywhere. I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. For someone that... <laughs> I love the way that you should... Like the way it's because <laughs> that's what he does, right? He's just like you really, you really like wet hot it though. It's like very wet out of it, like. <laughs> but, I mean, that is his character. Well, he's a whiny little brat, but it's different in a different way, and I just appreciate your version of it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. very like oh, it gets I everywhere. See it. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're like. <laughs> I was gonna go to Tashi Station and pick up some power. Converters. You know, it's a whiny family. It is a whiny family. You know? But I was going into Toshi Station to pick up some power converters. Well, you know, like father, like son. Anyway, right. not talking we, about that. We can't, we can't get into this. <laughs> so For someone that hates anything wet and cold, she sure turns to like his... His... Bade. Cold, dead fingers. Yeah. I don't oh, know if I should tell I you... I just went somewhere I, and... I was going to tell oh, you an no. anecdote, but... um. I don't know if it's time yet. Should I just tell you? Is it from one of the other ones? Well, it's more appropriate to one of the other ones. Okay. Once they get a little more sexual. (laughs) It's impossible. Lois could never have Superman's baby. Do you think her fallopian tubes could handle the sperm? I guarantee he blows a load like a shotgun right through her back. There's just questions. The thing. Is this dork made of orange rock like the rest of his body? <laughs> it's a superhero secret. Anyway. Yes. <laughs> no, but so the, the, the whole thing that I had here, right. I they threw out all these rules. Yeah. Including. Things. Things. Inviting people in. Inviting people in. Garlic. Garlic. Crosses. Silver crosses, right? They had a giant cross in this house. I'm like, oh, well, that's a good thing. What did you expect? Coffins and dungeons and moats? No. Not the moats. Not the moats. <laughs> Biggest one. Yeah. Human blood. Right. They can have. Well, that's in Discovery of Witches as well. He can. He lives off. Deep. Oh, there's a vampire in Discovery of Witches. Yes. Oh my God. A witch. Of course. Falls in love with. I mean, it's a tale as old as time. A witch. 
famous, if she smells too good, right? Mm. It's very, it's, you know, they're not, there's a reason that this keeps happening. Yep. Uh, she smells so good, he's, he's going to eat her, but he can't. Because he loves her, mm. and then they go time traveling. It's very much what alive. What is that all about? Like, what is that all about? This like I think it's a forbidden soulmate slash thing. right. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a you were the one and only, and I've been right. waiting, and you give my life meaning because um, I'm a vampire and life is meaningless. I think that might be what it is. Uh, yeah, you woke me up from my stupor of I've been living. For so long, and you renewed life. For right. Me. Oh, because finally, I'm, this is something different. We found each other. The parts fit. Only someone like Wonder Woman has a strong enough uterus to carry his kid. The only way he could bang regular chicks is with a kryptonite condom. That would kill him. I'm your lobster. I'm your lobster. Very that. Are there any gay vampire like. Lestat. Okay. But like, okay, let me rephrase. Are there stories about vampire love written by queer people? Dante's Cove? <laughs> I mean, I don't you got me specifically there. know about the writers of Dante's, but I would assume. Welcome to the Hotel Dante. What's interesting there is that it's not really about love. It's mostly just about lust. Dante's Cove, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't get <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's not, like, I guess to me what's so interesting is just, like, I don't know. Yeah. That seems like such a traditional Mormon, feminine, you know, like. It's very. Um, it's very, like, oh, I'm your soulmate and I'm the only person that could ever fit your parts. And, yeah. like, you're, you know, oh, we you have can't to be, read my mind. We have to be I'm, together forever. Right. Um, you know, for eternity. I just don't feel like that's as common in queer culture. Well, certainly not. Because it's, like, well, unexamined. Um, it's just so sure. traditional. Monogamy seems to be less, in general, you know, slightly less. Right. In general. Yeah, because it's, well, because that is the traditional. The traditional. And if you're like, well, I don't fit into this tradition, right. I'm going to now reconsider what well, I. But a lot of it's religious. Absolutely. So, right. You know, right. That. Exactly that. Absolutely. So. so, yeah, I just find that was what was so interesting of like when you're really peeling back these layers That's why I, of like. I'm telling you, when I was reading Weathering Heights, I was like, why the fuck is this Twilight? <laughs> what is happening? I feel like I'm going insane, yeah. right? But yeah. it's true. I mean, it's so much more than that. And like, don't, don't send me hate mail. But um, it was just very interesting to read that book now. Mm hmm from Nellie's perspective and be like, oh yeah, that is nuts. And then to re-examine re the twilight of it all and the gothic yeah. romance of it all. That's funny. And you know, vampires are gothic, you know, like that's such a gothic sure. thing. So anyway, it was all, it's all. Fascinating. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give up my life of debauchery and and sort of like right. meaningless, you know, whatever and, and. Because I finally found the one woman that will yeah. tame my wild heart. We should definitely rewatch Untamed Heart. Oh. Or we actually. I've never. You know what? I don't think we should. Oh, no. I feel like that movie scarred me. Oh, no. Yeah. Okay, great. So we won't. It was just. That's the one where he gets like a leopard heart or something you told me, baboon. right? Baboon. Baboon. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. It was just. It was a mature. Fil they don't make this movie anymore. It was a mature adult drama that was advertised as oh, a no. romance. Oh, for like. Any boy well, back then it was like go, we're going to the movies. You want to go see the new Christian Slater versus Train May movie? Yeah, I want to go see it. And then I mean, it was Marissa May. I'm in. Of course, I have like visceral memories of something happening. Oh no. Okay, I won't. She's watch like it. attacked in an alley or something. Oh. Anyway, speaking of attacks in alleys. Oh my God! Everyone is hungry for her beer flavored nipples. That's what I'm saying. I guess even the humans, humans, the human, yeah, were uh, like, oh She's yeah, fresh blood. Right. I guess sure. Well, though they were in a different town at this point. Yes, Port Angeles. Port Angeles. In which I also visited. Oh my god, April. It, it's just like, it's like, it's on the way. <laughs> like, you have to Did go. Did you go to the bookstore? I don't know, it doesn't exist, I don't think. I didn't go to the bookstore. Okay. But we did, we did find the Italian restaurant that they Stop it. ate at, I believe. Oh my god. We looked for it. But it's right at the ferry stop, you know? So, like, it's like, you got to kind of go to Port Angeles and then go to Forks anyway. Anyway. But, like, you what? You took a ferry to get there. Wow. I am flabbergasted. <laughs> I'm and excited to explore whatever you're horribly embarrassed. I can't wait till we find something that's... Halloween is... Town! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, I would. Actually, you can go to Maine 
and there is the town that they base it off of, and they do a whole you know big what? decoration for Halloween. We gotta go to fucking Maine because I, I want to go to Cabot Cove. I know it doesn't really exist. I want to go explore some that I would Stephen go to Cabot King Cove. sites. Sure, of course. I want to go um, to Halloween Town. Well, this movie does have it all. It has all of the things, right? <laughs> right. What? Ooh, that'd be a good costume for me. That's very easy. What? This movie has everything. We, oh, no. we just need to get you some highlights and an Ed Hardy shirt <laughs> and paint your nails. That's yeah. it. Have you heard of Blackula, the Black Dracula? Yes. <laughs> well, they have a Jewish Dracula. Oh. What's his name? Sidney Applebaum. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where they all go surfing? Oh. The Cullens don't come here. The Cullens don't come here. <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Hey, that was weird. What did he mean by that? Oh, oh. you picked up on that? Yes, it was a very pointed and weird oh, thing. Oh, Jacob. What did your friends mean about, you know, the Cullens don't come here? You caught that, huh? <laughs> Oh, you picked up on that. That spirit gum has gone to your head. <laughs> it's just the fumes of really, he's a big old dumb bunny. Yeah. 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 He's just, he's just, pretty he's just a and nice, so sweet. he's just a nice little little guy. He's like a little puppy dog. <laughs> That's probably why I was Team Edward. It's like, you seem dumb. <laughs> he has pretty himbo vibes. It's just <laughs> he's, like, he's such a himbo. <laughs> nice. You too. Are you crashing the prom or something? Do you come with a date? Not sure. No. Oh my, oh my God, I can't wait. Andrew? Oh, because well, he really bulks out later, right? Andrew, you don't even, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know. I just like re-remembered something and it okay. is, like even when reading the books, I was like, no! <laughs> and I was like, how are they gonna do this in the movies? No! It has all the cliches, you know, it's got the, Oh my god, but this one makes we're sense. We're in love and also you're cold. <laughs> oh my god, we're in love and why are you freeze frozen? You're fro you seem right. to be I like that it is so cold. I kind of like that though where it's like rather than like, oh we touched, oh there's oh. a spark. It was literally oh. like, oh there's no spark. You are cold and are you dead inside? You are a dead. Oh you are. You are a dead piece of yeah. meat. Yeah. There's something so sinister about that. I don't really like the rain. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really... A dead flesh bag. Yeah. We haven't even scratched the surface. Oh no. We get a we get a <gasps> touch, we're in love. We get a hilarious Googling montage of nonsense. Oh. Just of oh. cold ones. Pacific Northwest. She Googled it and figured it out. Real quick. She's a great researcher. Must be a vampire. Oh. And this whole reveal. There's so many things that are visually iconic in this movie, and I don't know if it's Part of it is because it was a phenomenon. Sure. And part of it is because it's iconic in my own personal memory. <laughs> okay, okay. But just like all of these sweeping, the color palette, like yes, yes, it's all kind of white and bled out, but there are real pops of color. Like oh, yeah, no. her truck and the trees, like there's, it is a beautiful movie. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. It's, it's, there were there were many shots where I was like, wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. And then there were many where I was like, this is nauseating. Please stop moving the camera. Anytime the camera moved, I was like, ugh. Anytime it was, it was like predator. locked off or whatever. It was, it, was, it was society. It was predatorily coming in. And she's the prey. Oh my God, of course. In this scenario. There is also like a filter to it, I vibe. Because I remember I was searching to find that video of oh, no. the the Instagram ah, filter. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Well yeah, so then it, once he's it's revealed that he's a vampire to Bella. Say it! Say it out loud. The vampire. As if you could outrun me. <laughs> As if you could fight back. <laughs> it's so melodramatic. I'm obsessed. <laughs> it was very like Yoda or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But I will say this. I appreciated the actual wire work in this movie because get ready for some CGI goddamn oh. nonsense. Oh no. Hold better hold tight. 
spider monkey. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. <laughs> <laughs> was there like a precursor to the spider monkey or did he just pull that up out of nowhere? I think it's just sort of like a, you know, because she's... It would have been funny, like they were in biology climb, together, climb right? They were in bio lab, but maybe like if there had been some sort of, oh, like, and then It's this... anaphase. Oh, wait. <laughs> prophase. Anaphase. I'll trust you. Prophase. Do you mind if I uh, look? It's prophase. You know about science? You know about, mul you dig on multiverses? Wait. You dig on multiverses? You know about Debussy? <laughs> um, You've heard Claire de Lune? My god. Claire de Lune is great. I can't even imagine I've anyone lived in the for a hundred years and I have never met a girl who has heard Claire de Lune. But Debussy. Oh my god. It was rough. It was rough. What were we talking about? Their fabulous architectural glass house, which you would definitely want if you were a vampire, question mark? Question mark. I guess seems... they're like way out in the distance. Right, they're in the forest. So I would love see. this house. I still am confused why his room has double doors to nothing. So he can um, leap out, out into, into the, the wilderness. I will say when she and him are gallivanting around in the woods, she is on the brink of hypothermia constantly. I mean, he's freezing. Sure. It's freezing she does not bring a coat it's freezing it's so cold in forks she takes her coat off oh We're i guess running that's around true. in the rain like she's getting hypothermia that's all that's I'm true saying. right and she's and up in the clouds freezing and it, right it right he's not gonna warm you just up say, it plays a, po a plot point later oh Oh, that's what I was going to say. Uh -huh. If they were in biology class together and like there was a chapter or some sort of like, oh, here's a lecture, real quick pass by of like spider monkey. And she's like, looks at, you know, whatever. Oh, spider monkey. So cute. I can't, I don't recall if there's a reason other than get on my back and spider monkey. climbing up a tree. Sure. Just would have been cute if that's like, that was the provenance of their nickname, right? Sure. You're my little spider monkey. All right, Spider Monkey, we're gonna go climb through yeah. a forest at super speed. I don't speed. think I love it anyway. No, I don't mean I don't care. Like, but like, if that's their thing, sure. I don't give a shit. But yeah, things that are presented as mm. romantic infatuation uh -huh. are um, infantilizing red flags. Sure. I've been watching you sleep for months. Nope. No. How did you get in here? The window. Do you do that a lot? Just the past couple of months. That's a deal breaker? That's mm -hmm. a hard no? You came into my home. Yes. Automatic no. Right. How without do, without invitation, like, without anything. How'd you get in? Yeah. Bitch, what? No. no. What the no. fuck are you doing here? Get the fuck out of my house. I, I am did not, not wearing you here. pants, sir. Did I let you in here? No, no, I did not. I really do understand how the Fifty Shades came out of this. Isn't that fascinating? It was, it was, because it was, it's so sexless and then, well, right. Ish, you know, and then, and then it was like, okay, we got to do that, but you know. Yeah. I, I mean, I, that I, still frustrates me so much, all of that. Sure. Again, though, like similar issues with consent and red flags where it's like. Lots of red flags, lots of I'm being an asshole, I've got a secret. Right. And lots of like, oh, oh I'll do whatever you want because I, I don't want to lose you. And it's like, well, that's not consent. <laughs> no. You know, like that's not really how this should work. I don't know if the writer has an understanding. Anyway, um, yeah. but w w the fanfic, what, what part of these mm. does it pull? What thread is being pulled for the fanfic of Fifty Shades? I think it's just, you know. I mean, it takes place in Seattle. Powerful, rich, um, aloof man with secret uh -huh. finds the one mm -hmm. in a infantilized um pale brown haired girl okay and they're in love but so why is it fanfic <laughs> of twilight because that's just happened to be what 
the woman R L E L James. E L James. That just happened to be what she was. I mean, I don't know personally, but like I'm assuming okay. she was reading it and. But it's she not like, like there's some character. It's not like oh, he was a character that shows up or she was a oh, character. Oh no, it's purely like I think she was reading Twilight and was like, um, what if they were having kinky sex? Let me write that. Gotcha. So it's like the characters ish of Edward and Bella are, you know, cousins to gotcha. the. Anastasia and Anastasia. I don't know. His I don't name. remember. Uh, uh, oh, I mean, it's gray, it, but it's okay. almost there. Oh, because she kept saying it. Not Alexander. What was it? Oh, I Sebastian. That. No, really? Wasn't it Alexander? Mm. Sebastian Gray? No. No. Is his name Sebastian in Cruel Intentions? Yes. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. Anyway, I don't think I would call that fanfic. I think that's just like... No, no, like it started as literal Edward and Bella having kinky sex. Oh. I believe. And then it evolved. And then it was like into... Okay, yeah, yeah, but now sorry, it's actually about... I think... Okay. I, I actually I don't have personal knowledge of this, but I think that's what happened. Interesting. That's the thread. Okay. She was writing it on her Blackberry. So, you know what, guys? And now she made millions. Good for you, bitch. Whatever. <laughs> Cash those checks. Absolutely. I mean, I don't know if we have to talk about it, but you asked the question in the viewing party, what happens when she gets her period? Oh, well, I think we learned by the end. Did we? Yes. Here's what we've learned. Yes. Because his whole thing, the reason I asked that question was because he said to her, oh, I can't taste it. You're my if, own personal brand of heroin. Well. That is what he says that, to her. That is what he says to her, which is a lot. Like my own personal brand of heroin. But also, he says that if you taste human blood, it drives you to a frenzy. Right. Right. So I was like, oh, so it's not like a sookie bill situation okay. where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, a, who? Sookie. I'm so good. I'll just have like a little bit. Ooh, sexy bill. Let's have some sexy times. And then after we fuck, you can drink a little bit of my blood. It wasn't that. <laughs> like Viagra in that situation, right? Uh, right before. Drink a little bit of my blood. Ooh, I'm so turned on. Ooh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm inside you. Well, guess what? Now you're getting inside me. Fanfic. I'm going to get out of my Blackberry. <laughs> <laughs> he said, oh, I can't. It'll drive me crazy, right? Yeah. So I was like, oh, well, well, wouldn't the blood then being there yeah. drive him even more crazy? Yes. And then if it's like literally there, why not just use it? Like, why not drink it? Right. You know, oh, perfect time. Oh, he only goes down on me when having my period. We've really gone into a fan, <laughs> fan fix situation. You know what, though? That 100% exists on the internet. Oh, absolutely. 100%. 100%, no doubt in my mind, that exists on the internet. But now we know that that could happen yeah. because no, he was because, able to drink no, her blood and stop. they are pure and Mormon. Well, of course. <laughs> there is no cunnilingus in this house. Oh, we all know that he's fucking sucking those tampons then. And <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Please do not flush sanitary products. Don't do it, girl. Clog you got to put them in a bear, a bear um, <laughs> food casing. What's that thing called? I don't know. This went to a weird place. It did go to a weird place. But anyway, I did ask the question, and that was why. Because I thought that, like, you know, the blood being present would drive him into a frenzy. And then maybe he, he couldn't restrain himself. But it turns out he can restrain himself because of love. Because love. Yeah. But the baseball scene. What was this? I mean, it was so I'm going I'm to go ahead and put this in the canon. Okay. It is an homage to Sleepaway Camp. <clears throat> I don't. I, I don't care what you say. That's what it is. But where were the short shorts then? <laughs> Crop tops. <laughs> Eat shit and die, Ricky. Eat shit and live, Bill. Yeah, Bill. Get a little wet. Come on, Bill. Come on, Bill. Wake up, 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 Bill. Shit. Yeah, the thunder to cover the sound of the baseball. This is why this movie's camp. Yeah, yeah, yes. I mean... This scene particularly... There's an entire camp. baseball scene with vampires playing baseball. Okay, now I see why you need the thunder. This camp. Yep. Cracking the thunder. <laughs> Camp Stupid. as Muse plays. Wow, what happened to them? It? Wow, yeah, I don't know. The baseball scene turns out um, vampires, no matter where they're from, vampires love baseball. I'm the one with the wicked curveball. 
Oh, well, I think we can handle that. Because our three villains who have been looming oh, around right. Oh, the hey, can we start a game? Can we join the game? Um, Weird. Let's play some baseball. But wait, is that a human? A human. Mm, and we now, get the um, eyeball showdown. This was where... This was very um, uh, Leone, Sergio Leone. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You know, it was, yeah. it was very much a, a Western. Sure. But not not uh, so much so as when we got to Arizona. Ever, I'm sorry, Arizona. Arizona. This is the way we talk in Tucson, Arizona. And there was all these cowboys with their guitars walking into the hotel. Yeah. It was like, what was that? I don't know. They showed us so many times. We really so got to establish times. that it's Tucson, Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah. The mirrors. Again, yes. another, another vampire yeah, thing. Yeah, they can see them in the mirrors, yeah, too. He, yeah. She's like, oh, no, which one is it? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, that's true. They, and they don't sleep in coffins. Nope. And they don't sleep at all. They really threw it all out the window except for the blood. Because the super strength. And even some of the blood thing the was. super speed. Well, you're right. They kept that. That's that, not, that's that not really a vampire thing. Not really. You know, not really. Not in the traditional sense. Maybe things. sometimes flying or floating or whatever. Right. So the Hall of Mirrors. Oh my gosh. The big showdown. This, this was a lot. It was a lot. I like this movie. You know, I mean, I get it. I get it. A lot of it really works. And a lot of the stuff that doesn't work, works. It's fun. In the in the not working. It's fun and it's dumb. Fun and and dumb. everyone is earnestly trying to do their very best. Yes, that is true. And there's a lot of choices being made. Yep. And some of them aren't correct. But I still like it. I still like it. Tell him to avenge him. Tell him. No, I didn't do it. Tell him. Tell him. This movie. I get it. But yes, they behead James and tear him into pieces and burn him alive. And Bella is bleeding out on the floor. Um, Edward has to suck her blood to make sure that she, but not too much. He's like a snake bite. He's got a suck that venom right out of oh, her yeah. wound. Oh, I don't really know how that like, works but... because he also has venom. So right. like. Is it a thing they excrete? Maybe they can bite you He's without like, I'm venom. I'm gonna make you a vampire if they bitch. Choose. Like it's it's only but snakes can't choose when they shoot venom. But then we get two of the best jump scares in the whole movie. <laughs> Bella wakes up from her hospital bed. Oh, I'm gonna... ah! <laughs> I've told this story before, but yes, at midnight when we went to see it, the entire theater, oh, Edward and Bella. Ah! <laughs> and then, yes, of course, um, oh Jacob uh, appearing out of the <laughs> mist, misty, misty <laughs> meadow that's backlit with this wig that is not brushed. Bella. Jacob. Hi! <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, oh, my dad paid me 20 bucks to tell you to dump your boyfriend. Right. Oh, I'm so silly. Oh, if only you knew, Jacob, Break what was up coming. Break up with your boyfriend. I don't know what that is. It's an Ariana Grande song. It's okay. Fun. And yes, we get the big prom scene with Iron and Wine playing. And oh, oh yeah. it's so, you know. I was saying I wished it was Sixpence on the Richer. This is not She's All That. <laughs> Kiss me. Oh, just eat me right now. What was it? Oh, my God. Could you imagine if she said that? And then he just goes down. Eat me. <laughs> hey, it's think the ending day. <laughs> Peck on, little, the, on the neck. Mm, it's not time yet. The final uh, revenge, Victoria. Oh, right. Whose hair almost makes up for the rest of the wigs. I mean, it is glorious. It's, it's my fantasy hair. This Whoa, is my fantasy yeah, hair. Yeah, that's right. Oh my God, curly, like in Goofy Movie Girl. Curly red, big, voluminous, just, oh my God. Rachel LaFay, I think is the actress's wow. name. My God. The hair. Uh, but yes, she is out for revenge. She's not the sister or the mom, it turned out. I, I was confused. She's not uh, Rosalie or Esme. No. Esme. Esme. Esme, get away from those cookies. Esme, get away. <laughs> uh, foul Play is such a good movie. It's so fucking good. 
did. I really oh, enjoyed that. That I'm was a so, Patreon request. So that was a good glad. one. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that I found that movie at 6 a.m., you know, on a TCM or whatever the fuck it was. Yeah. I happened upon it. Wow. It was a happened upon. It was That's very great. much like when I walked into that bookstore and found Twilight, the book. It's this now. Serendipity. Oh. Is that movie good? No. I didn't think so. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Uh, the, the cast is so good that right. it's like, you it's can't. not bad, but yeah. there's a lot of like, just get together already. God damn it. Sorry. <laughs> and yet this doesn't bother you? Well, no, I guess it's a lot they're of together. Like, it's a lot just... of like, missed, like, oh, mm. if only, and I didn't look over my shoulder, and if I had just said the, and you're just like. Just talk to each other. Because there's different, um, there's, there's, there's the, we're breaking up all the time because of miscommunication, immature. And then there's the, we have to be together no matter what, um, come haunt me when I die because we're in love thing. Right. But God, I mean, can you imagine if you were in high school and like you saw this couple of like, like someone that, like, I don't think this existed at my school where there's oh, just, so, oh. like they were so in love that it was obsessive, you know, in high, in high school. I feel like we did have, there was always like, you know, there was like a couple or two here and there, you know, like they would come and go. Right. It was like, I guess more like the hot couple, right? It's that's, almost like the homecoming king and that's queen. That's different. I'm saying where it you're like. It was never like, wow, they're so intense that they are like ready to murder They want to die act. for each exactly. other. Exactly. Um, wow, you guys seem intense. Do you want to go bowling or something? <laughs> this seems like a Lifetime movie told from a different perspective. Right. Yeah, that is a good point. Right? Yeah. He's a stalker. Oh yeah, like he's a full blown. Literally, creep. He, he told he's her a full blown I was following creep. you. But because she likes it, it's cute. Right. But I can't deny I really, really love this movie, and it holds a special place in my heart. And it's just campy and dumb and yep. fun yep. and angsty, and yep. the performances are earnest True. and like real somehow. Yeah. Like, they got a lot of real performances in this schlocky vampire romance movie. And I'm sad because it's only downhill from here. Mm. But um, I really still, I think this movie holds up for what it is attempting to do. Yeah. Speaking oh. of romances, okay. we really have to retro-review Mrs. Winterborn, oh by the God. way. Oh, tits. <laughs> tits! Oh, tits is fine. Isn't it, Father? Oh, yes. Tits. Tits is fine. Fine. We have talked about it so much, and, and I forgot that we actually haven't. It's we've like, talked speaking about of it. unsung, like foul play. Like I feel like Mrs. Yes. Winterborn like needs to be known. Like, right. We need to, to bring. I do it feel out like it is one of air. those. Oh, I found it on the DVD shelf, right? You know, it's like oh. that was. A, yeah, my friend Ashley was like, "Have you seen Mrs. Winterborn?" And I was like, "I don't know." What, Brandon Fraser? Oh, well, let's watch it five thousand times. The whale. He is having a resurge. Yeah. And I'm so. Happy, Happy for, for him, him. Yeah. because I love that man. Yeah, absolutely. He is my childhood. Yeah. So cheers to yes. the earnest, the importance of being earnest in Twilight. <laughs>